In this lesson, we're going to introduce Natron software, which is an open source and free software that you can download and install on your computer to do video effects and also compositing and some basic uh, operation, doing uh, working with videos and other type of uh, footage like images and um, audio assets and so on. Now, there are similar software out there, like, for example, Nuke, but Nuke is uh, commercial and uh, you need to pay. And also you have Autodex Flame and Blackmagic Fusion. You see all the information down in there. So they're all similar software. Now, you can also use like After Effects, which is uh, also for video effects and editing. But again, Natron is going to be an excellent uh, alternative. You, you may want to try. So I'm going to go in the website here, just clicking on the link from Google. And this is where you can know a little bit more about Natron and also where you can download it. Now there is a direct download link. So if you click there and you, you need to choose which operating system you're using. So Windows, Mac, Linux, you can use anything or any one of these. I'm going to go for Windows in my case, and then I'm going to click on this link. Now, this is a direct link, meaning that the download will start right away. Otherwise, you can go in GitHub and find it there, find the source code, because again, this is open source. So you can see how it, it, it's uh, created with the Python uh, language. So uh, Netron is a cross platform and open source compositor for visual effects and motion graphic industry. So you can do motion graphics, you can do visual effects. Again, you can work with videos and other assets and creating your uh, rendered uh, result, your your composition. Now, it's uh, it doesn't have as many tools as like, for example, After Effects, but and it's also more similar to to Nuke because it, it works with nodes and then it has like a, a preview window, a viewer. And then it has properties, so you can manage all the different nodes with the properties. So it's, um, you know, if you if you cast him to After Effects, it's just different. You don't work with layers here, but uh, you only have one big nodes editor dashboard to work with, and you work with nodes essentially. Now, what are the main features of Netron? And these are also explained right here and uh, there are some images so um, for example you can do rotoscoping which is kind of cutting out a figure or a subject and then you can do instead of like static photo montage you can also do like video montage and this is an, a feature that is also available again in after effects or nuke and then you have a tracker that lets you track something that it's like moving in your uh, view in your uh, footage and then once it's tracked you can do you know some operations with that and we're going to go more into deep with, the, with all these features later just going to show you quickly here uh, the, the main features and then you have the possibility to do green screen so use king to remove the background and create kind of an alpha channel and that's again uh, for video montages and then you have also not only the, the node editor, but you have also the dope sheet editor and the curve editor to help you with uh, the, 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 the video. And there are also other information here, GPU and network rendering and compatibility and plugins that you can find. Now there are extra plugins that you can see here at the bottom if you click in advanced features or more features. So these are all plugins that you can download for free and open source. The first part here. And then you have also commercial plugins. So open source, you can just click on the link and get them and install them. For the, the commercial, uh, probably you have like some trials and then you need to pay. So you have two different ways you can use plugins for free or you know commercially and also there are you know other features here listed and that's it so this is uh, more or less the the website you find other information also uh, about uh, the programming language of python and you also find a trailer here and that's it so 
this is more or less what, what you can do on the on the website of course you also have like um forums and documentation pages communities where you can exchange information and uh, search for help search for you know make questions uh, or give answers perhaps now this is the download folder where the zipped file will be once you finish to download it now you all you need to do is right click and extract once it's extracted it's going to take some time so just going to jump ahead here once it's extracted you're going to have two folders you can delete the zipped folder you can use the unzipped folder here to install so double click and double click again search for the setup file here double click on the setup and just go forward here install you can choose to install it for all the users or only the the main user of the computer then you say agree and then you choose a folder where you want to install it just gonna leave everything as it is and you also you can choose if you want to like install all the components or if you want to uncheck some of those again i'm gonna leave it uh as the, the def default and then next again and you can decide also if you want a uh, desktop shortcut there it is final click install and now let's just wait for the software to be installed now once it will be installed there you go you can also launch it right away or you can find it in your computer or in your desktop also if you created the shortcut in the desktop you can see it's loading up the various components and it's opening up and this is the 2.5 release by the way and that's it so do you want to not want to check for updates yeah that's this could be useful and that's the interface so it's really really simple really neat it's this nice gray um colors and now let's see how it's the how is the layout here of the interface so on the top of course you have the the drop on menu and you have like the basic operation we're gonna start with really basic things for you know all the users not just the expert ones but you know we're gonna start assuming that you are a complete beginner so file this is where you can create a new file Control n Control o to open an, uh, an existing file these are the shortcut keys on the right and then you have the commands on the left and you can save now let's talk about saving real quick so let's save our first project here so first of all we can navigate in our computer choose a folder and i'm gonna go in in my database folder here and i have a works folder and here i'm gonna select i already created a folder called natron but you can create a new folder from here you can go back and forth you can go up and down the directory and there you go that's my natron folder which i already created the filter here the, you don't need to touch that and the format is going to be the ntp which stands for natron project all you need to do is type a name here so i'm going to call this lesson zero zero and save that's it this is how you can do it and that's our first saved project now you can also quit anytime from the file menu and in the edit or press on the cross in the edit you have some preferences and you can undo redo you can go back and forward in your actions and you can use quickly the, the shortcut keys ctrl z and ctrl y and then you have here the possibility to adjust the layout adjust display manage display um manage the viewer you can go in full screen and then you have the possibility here to show or hide parts of the inter interface and render you can render when you when you've finished your uh, composition and then cache this is like a space that is going to be occupied by temporary files and sometimes you want to clear that but usually it's useful because it's gonna let you work more uh, well faster and then you have help documentation the website the forum you can see the issue spaces and also other information about Netron now on the left side we have some tools that we can insert we can use and we're gonna go through this again little by little 
we're going to increase the level of difficulty. This is just, you know, standard introduction, really quick introductory video. Now that's the viewer there. This is the properties panel on the right. And then you have the node graph on the bottom. These are the three most important panels. And here in the, in the properties right now, we are looking at the project settings because we don't have anything already. Otherwise, we can change the properties for the nodes or wherever we're going to bring inside the node editor. We have a timeline. We have um, the, the node editor that we can, it's like a dashboard. We can navigate using the scroll wheel. We can scroll the scroll wheel. We can click and press the scroll wheel and move the, the mouse around to make some pan movements. And if you right click, you have this uh, pop-up menu which is really useful to add new nodes. And also you can press tab key if you want to add nodes. And then here you have curve editor to work with curves in animation and dope sheet. Again, to check the, the timeline like in a more uh, extended way. And that's basically it. So it's really simple interface and um, you're mainly going to work with these three areas, but then you have, again, some additional features. So this will be all for this first lesson. If you enjoyed, subscribe to the channel. If you want to support us, please join the channel and check also our other courses and other video guides that you find in the channel about video editing, video effects, video montage, and so on. And so that's all. Thanks for watching. See you in the next lesson.